this video, Kim demonstrates using the hammer and hardy to cut marble, small tea, and down to verre. She shows us how to turn large materials into small pieces and how to cleave and facet small tea and down to verre. I just love these little marble cubes because there's many ways to use them. Of course, you can just use them uncut, but cutting them shows the beautiful inside rib inside. And with a lot of colors, you can even split them. Let's see if I'm lucky today and get a larger piece with all the beautiful sparkles and the stone inside that can be used in your mosaics. Yeah, it's split the other way. <laughs> it's marble, it does what it wants, right? And I think that's an important point to talk about. Natural stone products have already in them grains and from how they developed in nature and they don't always do what we want them to do. But yes, you can with some work, get some triangles and other shapes. Notice I'm wearing gloves. We're gonna be working with some larger materials and the tortilla edges and doll the bear can be super sharp. So we need some protection. I'm gonna work on showing you how to use your hammer and hardy to, to break down some larger materials. This is a Mexican small team, uh, tortilla. Now, whether it's thick cut or thin cut or even uh, B cuts of Italian, <clears throat> please know that you're not always gonna get perfect cuts. This glass kind of has a mind of its own. Um, you can start by um, just doing it as simply as cracking it. When we were working with these larger materials, we can't always predict how they're going to break. You can score them which I do occasionally, but if it doesn't break on the score, then I've damaged the surface of the glass, or we can simply just give it a whack over the top of the hardy and um, kind of see what we get. Because most of the time we're using this in a at more abstract fashion, Another approach is using your hammer and hitting it from the edge. But as you see, we still don't get the predictable cut that you were hoping would shoot across. We just can't tell exactly how it's going to break but these are beautiful shards to incorporate into your mosaic. And from here, often you can use a nipper to shape them further. With this one, I'm going to run a score line and see if we can get it to cooperate. Nice. I'm gonna score this one first before I hit it on my hardy. See if we can get some fairly regular pieces. And uh, then I'll demonstrate cleaving a little bit. It's a way to add texture. So now we have this nice little square. This is a thick cut uh, piece of small tea, so it's way easier 
to do this cleaving technique. And this is the most important time for you to have gloves on because cleaving um, makes some really razor sharp pieces. And we do this by taking our glass hammer and getting kind of a little ways in from the edge and giving it a good whack. And this creates some great texture on the edges. And you see how I got a lot of beautiful texture now on the surface that just adds more dimension to your mosaic. This is the importance of wearing the gloves because these are the pieces that came off when I was cleaving and they're literally sharp as a razor. These are bee cuts. Um, they're thick from Italian Smalti, and a lot of people like to use these, again, like the tortillas and the larger pizza sizes to make larger pieces. And um, we can cut those. And then you can kind of get bigger squares if you like them. You can cleave them to create texture in those squares. Dal de Verre is French for glass slab. We chip or cleave the edges so that light will be refracted through the facets. So we're just gonna give this a whack across our hardy, kind of lining up our score line. And, uh, you know, be brave. to God. Oh, honestly. Like, it's not even starting to fracture. It's going to break because now I get to win. <laughs> and we can break it further down by adding another score until it gets to a manageable size to work with. Becoming stubborn again. We most often see Dal de Verre in houses of worship but it's also found in contemporary mosaics. 